We have shared dozens of stories of perseverance in this series over the past couple of years, each of them hopefully inspiring to anyone needing that type of reassurance. This week we have another such athlete who has overcome quite a bit this year, which just like for many of us is one he won't soon forget. In these days of social distancing, Jacob Craig gets in his workouts where he can. The All-State boys volleyball player from Thomasdale sometimes has to resort to hits in the driveway with his mom, Beth, who herself played collegiately at Bluefield College. Nice up. That he is playing at all is something of a story in itself. Jacob was all about baseball until his travel team disbanded when he was about 15. He had called together a volleyball team himself in middle school, but was never fully aware of his ability until he went to a random tryout for travel teams that was also attended by a U.S. national coach. He goes, you know, are you strictly like regional or would you play on the national team? And I just kind of looked at him and I was like, uh, I, I, I'll play on the national team, you know, if you want me to, you, I'll go right ahead and do that. I can remember the first time seeing him, seeing him put his hands on the ball and um, I just was truly amazed at what was coming so naturally to him. That opportunity led to more than just his first plane ride. It led to scholarship offers from colleges and a spot in the state finals as a junior. But as has been the case for every student in the class of 2020, nice, Jacob, nice. his senior year wasn't anything for which he could have prepared. Jacob's biggest fan was his grandfather, Charles, even though years of health issues made it a challenge to fully enjoy Jacob's success. My dad especially was his number one at home fan because my dad was going deaf and he couldn't see that well, but he always wanted to go to the games. Charles and his wife, Fran, were a constant in Jacob's life until Fran passed away in late December. Less than a month later, Charles joined her, succumbing to, according to Jacob, COPD and a broken heart. I can't call them again. I can't tell them you know, that I love them one more time. I can't go over to their house anymore. Just a few weeks after that, Beth Craig had surgery to remove her gallbladder. Short. She spent weeks recovering, Short. which took away another source of game day support. Not having her in the stands was definitely something if I was had a bad play I couldn't look over at mom and she would say you know you get up and you go and you move and you go and do it. Oh, oh, Middles can't bad. I know, right? March brought an entire shutdown of all activities, school, sports, and his job at a local Chester restaurant. I lost my club team, I lost my school, my senior year, and I lost my source of income. And I was like, "All right, man, like I'm done." Jacob spent several days never leaving his room consumed by everything he had lost until he was reminded of what he still had going for him. Craig's aren't quitters and um, that's what I always told him and we would just pray together and get ourselves through it. We would just keep reminding him we can't look back um, because if you look back you know you're not I don't want you to live with any type of regret. I will never get back the things that I've lost but I can make the people proud that are still here by continuing to push, continuing to drive. As the region and the nation slowly get back to a version of normal, so does Jacob. He will head to the University of Charleston this fall on both athletic and academic scholarships. He also goes with the optimism of having already overcome several hurdles to his future. He should be, be very, very proud of, of what he's accomplished. And I know that my mom and dad are very, very proud of of what he's accomplished. You may lose people around you, you may lose things that are around you that you love, but at the end of the day, you still have you, and that's the reason to keep going. Jacob's pet dog also passed away in April, a loyal animal that stayed with him even during some of his toughest times. But as we mentioned, he will realize his dream of playing Division I volleyball next year at the University of Charleston, the school he chose over a dozen others that recruited him to play. If you would like to nominate someone to be profiled, email us at beyondtheroster at WTVR.com.